Okay, I want to teach you how to do my favorite string trick. Now, there are lots of string tricks out there, lots of different tricks, but one of the classic tricks with any string or rope is to cut the rope or string and restore it. It's called a cut and restored rope, a classic of magic. This is one of my favorite versions because it uses a piece of string. Guess what? It's not really string. What is it, spaghetti? No, it's twine. What's the difference? Well, twine is actually a bunch of little threads wound together. This is really eight little threads wound together. And if I find the middle and start to unwind, you will see that those eight threads begin to separate. And if you have good eyesight and take your time, you can actually go in there and pull four strings, four threads in each direction. You could split open that twine in the middle. Let me see if I can do that. One, two, three, there's about four. If you get five in one hand and three in the other hand, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. But this particular twine I use has eight threads. And look, now that I pulled the, the threads out, I'm going to actually retwist those threads four and four so i have a little pair of rabbit ears there look at that that looks like two strings but it's really one string because this is the center of the string the twine that i've separated out to make it look like two if i were to pull that it goes right back together again and you can hand that out to be examined. Well, how do you make that into a magic trick? I'll show you. This is where the secret preparation comes in. So before you do your trick, you actually prepare your twine by separating it like that. If you need to have an adult help you, I'm sure they would be happy to. And you twist those four ends. The more you do this, the easier it gets. It's a little complicated at first. But once you understand what's going on, it's pretty easy to separate out those threads and retwist them. So I have four and four, and it looks like two ends of my two strings. Now, you can begin by saying, here's a trick with two strings. And if you just leave that on the table, people will walk by that and just assume it's two strings. It just looks like the ends are crossing each other here and here. There's nothing suspicious about it whatsoever. That's what I love. And you simply say, now, watch the two ends, and you take the middle. This is really the middle. The two ends are really here. But you can say, I'll put the two ends in my pocket, or you can have a friend hold them in their hand. Just don't let them squeeze too tight. Or you can even put them in your mouth. If you haven't had the string on the floor, you can put them in their mouth. That's what I used to do. I used to put the two ends in my mouth and pretend to chew. And then when I would pull it out, I would pull tight, and it would turn into one string. I'd say, I have really sharp teeth, and I'm going to knit them back together. And I would offer to fix their socks if they want to put their socks in my mouth. I could knit holes in those. Now, if you want to be extra sneaky, which I do, and I know you do too, here's how you're going to really fool them. The two ends, the actual ends, if you stick those together, and I use a little bit of rubber cement here. I'm going to put a little bit of, just a little dab on each end. Just a little dab of rubber cement. That's all it takes. I'll give it a, a few seconds to dry a little bit so they get tacky. Now, if you rub those together, if you have some wax in a pinch, I've even used a little bit of butter. I mean, even in a pinch, I've used a little bit of saliva. I just put a little spit on them and they would stick together long enough for me to do this trick. But rubber cement works well because that's going to hold on a little bit longer than anything else. There we go. Just twist them together and let it dry. Let it sit and dry for a minute. So look at this situation you have you have apparently one loop of string. They think the ends are here, and they think this is the middle. But guess what? The opposite is true. What a great place for a magician to be in to begin a trick when all their assumptions are topsy-turvy. That's a fantastic place to start any illusion. So you say, here's a trick with a loop of string, one piece of string, and I actually have them hold that. I'll hand them the thread like this, and they'll hold on to it, pinch it, because they are none the wiser. I say, now, if I wave my magic wand, it's going to turn into two strings. You can use a knife or a, a pair of scissors. Be careful, though. Be careful. And you, can, you don't even have to cut. I'm just pushing, and they come apart where they were rubber cemented. And you say, ta-da, two strings. 
Not impressed, huh? No, they're not impressed. All right, what if I could put them back together? Well, that would be a good trick. Watch the two ends, and that's really the middle part. Goes into your pocket. Say some phony baloney magic words, hocus pocus. Abracadabra, half a banana. Oh, wait, get inside my pocket. There we go. One, two, three, and pull tight, but don't pull too tight. You don't want to break this, the twine. One, two, three, boom, magic. That's a good one. Keep that a good secret between us.